Alright, hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video, we're actually going to make it so that whenever the user presses the addition, subtraction, or any of those buttons, not only is it going to display the question, but it's also going to display a keypad where they can enter the question and check if their answer is, is correct or not. So let's go ahead. But before we do that, we have to import some basic stuff. So from kiwi.uix, create layout, import. Uh, uh, import grid layout there you go so that's one and then we're also gonna import from kiwi .uax button import button there you go alrighty uh, as you can see I like to keep my imports organized by which one is the longest by shortest I don't know it's just a thing that I have some people don't care some people do I'm one of the people that do alrighty so what we're gonna do is basically we're gonna go and create a new class and where we're gonna create the new class is uh, let's just do it under here under the math screen so let's put the pound signs I put 80 of them in a row so then class um, and let's just call it keypad because we are so original keypad and it's gonna inherit from the grid layout so oops whoa 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 Come on, man. Grid layout. Yep, that's good. Documentation. It's going to accept args. And it's also going to accept quarks. And I need to fix that because that is annoying. Alrighty. So, what's it complaining? Oh, I know. Two spaces. Ta da! And it goes away. Magic. Alrighty. So, what we need to do is super keypad self and we're gonna pass in you know what we're gonna also gonna pass in the these arguments in there Ta -da! all right so since we're defining uh, a widget in Python all the same attributes that are in Kiwi oops that are in Kiwi like over here for example um, where is it at oh here we go a good example like padding spacing orientation all of that is still accessible through the Python, except we have to do it through, you know, Python syntax. Yeah, ta da. Alrighty, so first off, we're gonna set the calls to uh, three, so three columns, and then we're gonna set the spacing as well to uh, 10, and then we're gonna we're gonna call a method which we're gonna define right now create buttons, ta da. Alrighty, and then after that, let's create that method create button self. So we're going to create a list and it's going to be of numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, oops, 4, 5, 6, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, doo -doo -doo -doo, 0, and nothing in one end. And then we're going to have go. And let's put it all in a bracket. Bam. Oops. 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 There we go. Sweet. So we created our list. All right. So now after that, we're gonna iterate in the list for num in list, and we're gonna create a button. So self, and we're gonna add it to the to the grid layout. So we do self that add widget, which adds the widget obviously by the method name. Pretty simple, huh? And then we're gonna do button, and we're gonna pass in the parameters for creating a button. So for example, you guys can look at the documentation for all the parameters that go. For example, right there. So you see documentation for more information. Well, that was helpful. But, uh, wow, that was really helpful. Thank you, Kiwi, for the nice documentation. But anyways, online, there's a plethora and robust documentation that you can look at. So anyways, you can just going to have to follow. Believe in me that what I'm typing is correct. So we pass in the text. That's what that's what it's going to set to. And then the on release, what's it gonna do when the button is released? So again, we're gonna create another method. And this one is called gonna be called on button pressed. Ta-da! How original. Alrighty, so guess what? We're gonna go ahead and create that method. So def on button press. We're gonna do self dot button, which is the button that's being passed to. The button that is just pressed and we're gonna get the math screen and how we're gonna get the math screen is we do app oops dot get running app 
this gets the running uh, what, well, why am I being redundant it already says in the in the documentation it gets the instance of the app that is being that is being uh, used that is running uh, I'm being redundant anyways so this gets this the tutor app application this instance and in the tutor app when we run it this right here in the build method this this class right here this instance is going to be saved in in a variable called root inside the kiwi tutor app so we're gonna access it through here so through root and so that's calling what i just said the kiwi tutor root that class and now we can uh, access any of the attributes so for example let's do that ids that math screen and we already got the math screen right there bam easy super super easy hopefully that makes sense if not well then i suck and i'm sorry oh well answer text uh it's going to be equal to math screen dot answer text bam now we're going to check if the button dot text dot is digit is digit then we're going to make the answer dot text add whatever the heck that was uh come on so we do button dot text that should do it so that adds the text that was being pressed so for example they press uh, um, one it's going to be add to the to the final answer the one that is going to show if the user is correct or not well it'll make more sense once the application is running all right so once that we're going to check if the button dot text equals uh, go and then also we're going to check answer that text uh, does not equal oops sorry about that does not equal empty so this only checks if the user wants to pre wants to check if the answer is correct and they actually inputted something and if the answer the answer text is not just blank cuz if they just enter go with a blank answer then obviously it's going to be wrong so we won't let this so this won't happen unless there's some text to check that's basically it unless there's some text to check this it ain't happening son it's not gonna happen all right so then we're gonna get the answer from the math screen so math screen dot get um get answer Doo -doo. simple as that math screen dot get answer now we're gonna call the root we're gonna set the root so app dot get running config and root so yeah simple as that we already got the root saved now we're gonna do something oops int now we're gonna convert the text that they input it answer that text that text Ta -da! and we're gonna check if that is equal to the answer that the math screen uh, returned if it is then for now we're just gonna print yay now else is gonna be um, uh, let's just print boo whatever <laughs> You guys can put whatever but that's just for now but later on once we create a a little math pop-up we're gonna want to change this so let's just do a little to do change when we create math pop-up and this is gonna be the same for here all right so after the boo we're gonna clear clear the answer text and the reason for that is because we already checked if the answer is correct or not so we're going to display the next answer and to this and uh, not the next answer the next question so whenever we display a new question we want the answer text to be also erased so the user can start with a brand new uh, clean slate so they don't have to erase the input that was already there so yeah basically yeah whatever so answer text dot text equals blank. So yeah, there you go. Clean new slate. And now we're gonna prepare the question again. Prepare question. Uh, prepare to get new question. There you go. To get new question. So question equals math screen dot um, question text and then question text. Uh, that oops 
Uh, actually, we can just do root root dot prep question, and we're gonna do math that screen that get next question true if root that is mixed data else false. So you guys gotta look at the documentation and let me see. Does this actually go that far? Nope, it does not. Okay, well, anyways, you guys can look at the arithmetic.py file and and look at that method, and you'll see why we need the parameters. Because I'm too lazy, and I'm already ten minutes, so yeah, we don't want to make it longer. All right? Okay, with this, I think it should work. Oh, one thing before we do anything, uh, we need to add it to the Kiwi file. So let's just go to the math screen over here. And we're going to add it somewhere right here, keypad. And that's all we have to do because it already it's going to display the widgets that we create. So now, Isha, we run this. Hopefully it runs and not I give up on life. Oh, yes. So now addition. Oh, look at that. Keypad. Booyah. So, okay. What happens if we press 8? Oh, look at that. Yay. Woo. All right. So what happens if I press a 2? Boo. All right. Well, you guys can mix, uh, mess around with the other ones. But it should it should all work. If not, well, then eh, we'll figure it out. All righty. 11 minutes. That's way too long. All right, thank you.